So now, after you find a good source um, of a website, okay, now how do you find a reference? Now, this is how you do it. First, um, uh, the format is like this. Actually, this is uh, the reference for this website. All right. Uh, so let me show you here. First, uh, you need the, the author. But uh, the website sometimes it doesn't have author. If there is an author, you cite the author, you know, last name and then the first name initial. But if there's not, what it says is just by Mayo Clinic staff. Uh, in that case, you just say Mayo Clinic. Okay. And then the date. Now, usually the website will uh, post the date. Now, in this case, scroll down and see here. This is the date. Okay. Uh, in other words, uh, you need to search for, I mean, the website usually has uh, posted uh, the date uh, they uh, published this article, okay? And you need to search for that date. Right. Uh, the next thing is um, uh, the title. Uh, the title of this article is Parkinson's Disease, so you just type that, right? And that's it. For, and finally, you say retrieved from, and then give the website. Of course, the website is right here. So just copy, uh, copy and paste. So this is a reference. All right. Um, now I'll teach you how to do this in-text citation. Um, uh, this applies to um, all any kinds of references. Okay. In the paper, if you want to cite some of this source, this is how you do it. Okay. You can say according to and then about uh, the, the author, Mayo Clinic, and then the date. And then you state what you want to say, right? Or you can say Mayo Clinic, and then the year, and then um, point it out, or stated that, or summarized that. Okay, do not, do not give the link in the uh, in the the paper. Okay, um, uh, in text citation, don't give the link, or uh, give them uh, this um, a title or whatever. I mean, just follow this kind of. There are uh, other ways. Um, uh, you know, you can say Mayo Clinic, uh, um, maybe uh, suggested, you know, things like that. But do not uh, post this um, uh, link in the paper. Okay, this is this link only belongs to in the reference. Okay. Now, in text, uh, one thing I need to point out. Okay, again, this applies to all, um, uh, you know, any paper. Do not directly, uh, directly quote from a source. Okay. This is not exactly plagiarism, but I don't want you to do it. For example, do not do the following. A lot of people will say, ah, um, uh, the author um, says it better than me. I just cannot reward it. Well, <laughs> that's your job to reward it, okay? So do not do this. Mayo Clinic stated that ending quotation, or some people don't even uh, bother to have a quotation mark, right? And then this is a copy and paste from um, uh, here right here okay don't do that instead um, if you do that it will result in a heavy deduction of points okay instead a paraphrase so see how i paraphrase okay according to Mayo clinic parkinson's disease is a disorder that influences see it says affects so i changed the word to influence and uh, more than if more than three or four words identical then is considered plagiarism so you just uh, you know uh, uh, find uh, different words, uh, different orders, you know, different ways to say say this. Okay. So I say Parkinson's disease is a disorder influences an individual's movement, right? It says it um, affects movements. I say influences movement. It starts slowly. You say it develops gradually. So I reward it to say it starts slowly, maybe from a small tremble uh, of one hand. Things like that, okay? You just, that's your job to find a different way to uh, a reward from the source, okay? Otherwise, it's pretty much a considered plagiarism. Now, again, the reason why I don't want you to copy and paste, um, uh, you know, uh, from the source, um, first, if you don't have the quotation mark, uh, you, you lead them, the, the, uh, the readers, to believe this is your words, and that is considered plagiarism. Now, if you have a quotation mark um, uh, in your citation, now strictly it is not plagiarism, but this doesn't show me evidence that you understand the material. 
Okay. A lot of times I ask the students say, okay, you already quote, uh, quote this one, so what does he mean? And they give me the wrong answer. Okay. So be careful.